So there's a lot to do in this episode, but before we tail with the ultimate goal of assassinating Jacopo de Pazzi, we are going to investigate this assassin tomb, and that's going underground into the catacombs and doing a little bit of free running, a little bit of exploring, and seeing what we can do. Clearly, a lot of water. Maybe some rats going on as well. We're basically in a sewer, but we're going to go ahead and infiltrate Toro Grossa and find the assassin seal hidden within. So, our big goal is to get to that. And I don't even think we're going to have to, uh, to get wet to get over there. Just shimmy along. No water required. And uh, we're notorious, by the way. Guards on high alert, especially because we've been finding and taking out all their men. But also, they want to protect what's ever in here. Ooh, I am getting, uh, I'm getting some memories with this one, too. Kind of do remember this one now. I mean, they're all kind of, like, memorable in a way. Especially when you have this big, like, cinematic before, but, um... It's been a while. Hopefully I got what it takes to get the assassin seal. Where's that guy? Oh, he's around the corner. He's not going to know anything. Did he go around the corner? Oh, he did. Okay, you were, you were a little bit too loud. The other guy... I mean, he might find the body here in a second. He did? He didn't really think that was cause for concern for some reason? Uh, yeah, buddy. I killed your pal. Should really go up this way, I would, I would guess. A little, uh, grab there. Okay, now we're cooking. I always like to do these as mistake-free as possible. It isn't always possible for me we'll just go ahead and continue to shimmy along here i would say grab this yes doing a good job so far but there's gonna be another another feller here in a second he's gonna be above us okay that shouldn't be a problem that ain't no problem it is me oh you're just gonna die. I'll walk you down. <laughs> uh, it's annoying that they saw me, though. There might have been a way to just completely avoid him, but... I can't take the chance. Don't need the risk. Oh, there's a lot of people in here. One? There's definitely a second. I saw it on the map. Two? Three, four, and then there's the big dude. So I think we have five people in here all together. And a throwing knife is not going to take that guy down. You didn't see anything. You could walk over and investigate, though. You didn't see anything? <laughs> shh, shh. Hush, hush, child. And you're done. And stay out of view of the big guy. Don't really want him alerting everybody else. Is he reading books? Don't really know if there's an easy way to get over to him. Oop. Oop. Nope, nope. You didn't see anything. A moment of your time. A moment of my time? Hey, all you... What is this dude doing? Stop a moment. I would like a word with you. Aspetta. Messere, stop. Come, sir. Just a quick word. A quick word. Stop a moment. I would like a word with you. What is he? Oh, you want a word with the wall? A moment of your time. Please, sir. I'd like a word with you. Come, sir. Just a quick word. Well... Yeah, I think we, we put him out of his misery. Clearly wasn't the uh, the brightest bulb 
in the lamp. I think it's safe to say. I think we would have been seen there. We'll go up now. Oh, nope. That was a bad time to do that. There's another guy here. What's up? What's up, pal? Do it again. Please. I wish you would. Mm, you took one bar of health away. Oh, no. Should be able to go up and over here. I think... I think we're going to have to use these... Uh... Yeah, I see what has to happen. We're going to have to use these, like... I don't even know what to call them. They're, like... Plaques? <laughs> well, yeah, I figured we'd have to climb up those. But they're like in the wall. Very, very odd. Hey, that could be him. It's not him. Okay, well now now you have to die. Did you see which way he went? Yeah, he's right here. <laughs> you need your eyes checked? Just shove two blades in him. Okay, we have to go very high okay even higher than i thought actually it's like 10 stories how'd they even build this high back in the day clearly master craftsman but i think like we've alerted people at this point so it's not really even my biggest concern no 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 Ezio, please no Ezio. No! Jesus Christ! I, why would I want to climb the ladder there? I'm trying to go up. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, this is what I'm talking about with why it's so difficult to not alert somebody. Is there's no real way to get to somebody quickly without the game thinking you want to jump or climb. This dude. This dude might be an actual idiot. I mean, the guys that they're paying, it's very clear why this isn't going to plan. It's like, these are morons. Imagine you you stand over here and you don't see someone hanging on the wall. You go, huh, that might be a little suspicious now that you mention it. So like, yeah, no kidding. He won't climb that? Okay. Maybe we can just climb here? It'll do. It'll do. Yeah, we're making we're making a pretty good pace. Maybe a mistake or two along the way, but nothing significant. And we're uh, we're moving at a pretty good pace as well. Um, what does it want us to do here? Honestly, can't tell. I think jumping backwards, maybe? Oh, yes. And then there's a latch we can climb up. And here we are! Perfect! And of course, yes, we are at the sarcophagus, but... Uh, I'm getting the chests. If they're leaving chests here, I'm taking them. I'm not letting any money go to waste. And we have plenty of chests here. I thought there was only one at first. But no, there are at least three and I think it's usually about three as well but yeah it is it's a challenge to make it up to these but this will be now be the third assassin seal that we've acquired jumping up from 33 percent acquired to now 50 percent three of six and this is the seal of I'm not sure yet seal of Wei Yu three of six Okay, we're, do we're doing pretty well so far. The secret of Torre Grossa is now no longer a secret. We know what it is. It's the assassin seal. Man, this, this light is blinding. On rooftops, failure to heed the archer's warnings will cause a move attack. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, figure that out. We haven't really dealt with, uh, much with archers in this game yet. Only, only until very recently have they even been like the slightest bit of a problem or even in the game but to be fair it is still quite early in the game i would say we've accomplished a lot so far but um 
it's we're not super deep in or maybe we're deeper in than I expected but uh I don't think I don't think we're that deep in is there anything we can dive off here I mean surely there's a way down yeah here we go this surely will have some hay underneath or something close enough and let's go and try to avenge have we done this one before yes I've been taking care of them. Trust me. I've been dealing with them. There are some that I have not yet dealt with. We'll go to, uh, I think it's secret locations. I'm, no, maybe not. We found three of those. It's locations. We have not done their, uh, the uh, Mercato Vecchio. Which, um... I don't actually even know where that is. That's in, that's in Florence, right? Yeah. In Tuscany, we found all but this one, so we're, 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 we're going at a good pace, I would say. We don't really have to uh, stress about figuring that out right now. What we should be more worried about is the upcoming death of Jacopo de Pazzi. And it won't be tough. We'll tail him, and then we'll assassinate him. It's a two-part process. Not difficult. If I can stay my blade long there enough he is. to follow him, he'll lead me to his Templar brothers. I'll have more names for my least. He's just hanging out pretty like open in the street, to be honest. He doesn't really seem to be particularly worried about any assassins. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Noble prices for noble way. Okay. It's, sometimes you just You expect to be able to grab a hold of something and then you can't. But he's gonna keep pausing and stuff. What's going on here? Are they late? They haven't seen me this much I know. Well, he's gonna be on the lookout. It's going to be better to tell this guy from the, the Roos. The Roos. We're going up. We're going up. We have 20 seconds to find him again. So we're going to be totally fine. All we need is eyes on him. He's just got to be on the screen. There we go. He's on the screen right now. and Still counting up. But he's not going to be looking up. The way to do it just stick to the rooftops. I'm, I'm gonna have to kill you. Sorry about that, buddy. Had to be done. You can't tell me to get down when I I, I can't get down. I, I have to be up here. That guy didn't have to be up there. And we sent him to his grave. This is good. This is good. Ooh, feathers. Hold on. I gotta get to those feathers. I know you and the others plan killing Jacopo is important, but I've got bigger problems, like getting those feathers for Maria. Come on, Ezio. Don't fail me now. Nope, nope. Just cross this. Thank you. See, he's not even going that fast. Can you make this jump, Ezio? Oh, he's not going to be able to. Let's get a look at him. Yeah, dude, we're fine. Okay, he's not going to make that jump. Don't worry, we'll just take a look. Okay, I have, I have now 20 seconds to get him in my sights. Oh, and I, he's way too far. I'm making mistakes. And I'm dead. And I'm dead. Oh my goodness. We're hanging on for dear life. Jacopo's right underneath. In a great position for the feathers. And the feathers have been acquired. Jacopo, none the wiser. Doesn't know about my ever-growing feather collection. Doesn't need to, honestly. Not important. 
Maybe when we assassinate him, though. I will tell him about the feather collection. Okay, we, we, got, we got to take a quick peek of him. You didn't see anything? You didn't see anything. Don't worry about it. Get down. Shut up. Oh, they're going to go through here, surely. Oh, more feathers. Just go up the ladder. You don't see me. I'm allowed up here. It's cool. It's feather time, baby. I think we gotta go up here, for sure. Get the feathers. It's all part of the plan. They're gonna go through here, surely. Where after this? It's gonna be a lot tougher to... to, uh... stay on the rooftops if there are no rooftops. There it is. That's where they're going. That's where they're going. Found that out in a hurry. Your letter mentioned Venezia. Ooh, Venice. Let's get up here. And then we'll get around. He won't be able to see us. It'll be the perfect, perfect plan. We'll watch from above like the angel of death. Yeah, they're gonna be in there. We can see them. I'm looking at them. They're right in there. You see the guards? Wish I could zoom in. We're gonna have to jump down at some point, but... Until then, we'll just chill up here on the wall. Yeah, they're going in there. Jacopo's taking his time, though. Just a slow, leisurely walk. A lot of guards. He's got to be feeling pretty good about this right now. Pretty safe. Pretty protected. But you gotta know. Ezio's coming for you, dude. It's over. It's already over. He's gonna make a left turn. There he goes. Kind of a long drop, to be honest. No, not, not that long. No health taken away. Ooh, Antico Teatro Romano. The Roman Antique Theater. We'll have to come back and find out whatever, uh, whatever the glyph is. How many men are responsible for my father's death? Dude, they're not looking up and seeing Ezio right now? Poor guards. I, I've said it a hundred times at this point. I mean, you should be able to eaves eavesdrop pretty easily. I mean they're gonna they're gonna figure it out. Ezio's gotta be here. I mean, do I have to get to the other side? I'm too far. They're not gonna start it. Hold on. Well, I can't go that way. And I can't not look at him. And there are gonna be there are guards right here. That's where I have to stand? Dude. It's a death it's a death trap. It's a death trap. You think they're not gonna know about Ezio here? I'm sorry, so stupid. Maestro. I did all I could, but the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. As the others would be here with you. Say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I, I tried to be the voice of reason. More like the voice of cowardice. Who is this you guy? To talk, now we know. And you sent us quality weapons instead of this garbage you Venetians call armament. Who and he's Venetian. We put our faith in your family and you repay us with inaction and incompetence. Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us. How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. It's all right. You gotta kill him. I do. Goodbye, old man. Uh, uh, oh, tough. No. Please. Don't. 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 It's over. Please don't what? 
Sorry to have claimed your prize, assassin. Oh no. You had to know. Do you honestly think I wouldn't expect you to follow? That I didn't plan for it? We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. Um, no. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen to this! Goodbye. Lazy <laughs> Nudit, Well, alright, we'll kill Jacopo. End his suffering. I suppose that's fair. It isn't really, but it's nice. Bye, amico. Libero da fardelli e paure. Requiesca di pace. Shut up, bitch. Oh, wait, do you want us to take them all out? Because we can. There's one. We got a crowd. But guess what? I got, like, a glyph to figure out. So. I'm going to take you guys out so I can get to it. You're done. Death. Imminent. Goodbye. Challenge me, big axe man. Just stand in there, you big oaf. Yeah, how'd that work out? Good call. I'm too fast. I do remember these dudes with the sticks are uh, super annoying. Yeah, jeez. I remember correctly. Guess what, though? I'm, I'm about to loot. Uh, I'm gonna loot? Okay. Couldn't loot right there? Well, this guy just took this dude out for me. It ended his life. Nice move, idiot. I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna give him a little knee. A little knee. And you're gonna die. Ball shot. Can I grab this guy? I can grab this guy? Dude, how do you get knocked out by that? You fool. Let me loot. Let me loot. Sequence 5 is complete. I guess it's going to take us away from here. Dude, I had stuff to look at in here. You're killing me. But we killed the Pazzi. Francesco, Vieri, and now Jacopo. Well, I guess we didn't kill Jacopo. But we finished him off. We kind of did. And this still is Firenze. The Florentine Republic. 1480! When did this all start? Years prior. They've been going after this for a minute. It's been, what, at least like six years? I think something like that. Go ahead and pull up the map. I didn't really want to be dumped back in the middle. Except I don't even... I think it was in Tuscany, right? I think it was in Tuscany. We're back in Florence now, so... Uh, we'll just go do a memory start. We'll get to that theater maybe uh, at another time. Ooh. What up, Lorenzo? The Pazzi are dead. Every one of them. I must admit, I've never before believed I could desire the death of others so badly. Nor I. Ezio, thank you for the role you've played in keeping this dream of mine alive a little longer. L'onore è mio, signore. What will you do now, figliolo? There are still others I must hunt, signore. They are already digging their claws into the heart of Venezia. No. La Bella Venezia. <laughs> Indeed, I'm afraid so. And that is where your journey must take you, Ezio. Before you leave us, I have something what, for is you. Is it a sash? A gift. That'd be nice. This cape identifies you as a friend of the Medici. 
As long as you wear it, the city guards will be more tolerant of your actions. Well, they said it wrong in the won't. subtitles. Tolerant, not, not tolerant. You immunity from the law. Que la fortuna favorisca la tua lama. The Medici cape has been acquired. So when we wear this, I will be permanently anonymous to the Medici guards, which is nice. So our notoriety will never increase in both Florence and Tuscany. Now we're not gonna be able to go around murdering people. Not that we would want to, but um, it's gonna be pretty useful to have. I'm sorry, I'll go. Also looks pretty good. But uh, yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and go to Venice here pretty soon. Venice is nice. I've been to both Florence and Venice in real life. Beautiful cities. And um, it was kind of cool because I had played the Assassin's Creed games. Or at least two in Brotherhood before going. Not because of my trip, but it just happened to be that way. And seeing some of these amazing things in Assassin's Creed in real life was actually pretty awesome. It is Piace, Messer, but he is gone. Maestro Leonardo was commissioned by a Venetian noble to paint some portraits. Oh. He paid for the Maestro to move his entire workshop to Venezia. It's quite an opportunity. Grazie mille, friend. Think Leonardo's not going to tell us about that first? But he no longer lives here. Leonardo lives in Venice. And Venice is uh, pretty far away. So I guess there's only one thing to do, and that's to head to the mountains. Now, can we get that from this uh, travel station? You know what we could do? I think it was in Tuscany, right? It was uh, the amphitheater. Right, or the, the theater, the antique, antique theater. And then we'll be able to head to the mountains from there, too. So I want to, uh, I want to see if it's in Tuscany. I'm, I had thought that it was. Like, it surely is, right? Except I don't recall ever seeing it on the map here, but we, t we tailed him certainly in Tuscany. Like, no question. And, uh, oh, we have to go to Florence first, but... Where is... Is this it? I think that's it. So we should have gone to a different one, but I, I didn't really know that in advance. So I do want to solve this little mission. I think we'll probably call this an episode at this point. But uh, this is cool, and we'll give you guys a little update on, um, on where we are with the truth, so to speak. There's 33,000 in the Villa Chest. Let's also speak about paintings here. We'll get Sleeping Venus... Uh, that's over 9,000 florins, which is, uh, you know, not too cheap, but there's going to be a ton of paintings to buy in Venezia as well, so we're going to need all the money we can get, but I'm also curious about this so-called truth, so we have to go ahead and, and make our way there. Yeah, it was annoying that we had to go back to Florence first, but... Uh, we're figuring it out now, and we know where to go. Hopefully, Ezio doesn't get PTSD from being captured very briefly by um, the enemy, we'll just say. I don't really think there's an easy way to get over this right now. So we'll just go, we'll take this path. And here it is. So it's going to pop up in a second that we are back at the... Uh, Roman theater, I would expect. Maybe not. But I would think that it would be somewhere along this arch. Just because that's a big focal point. But maybe not. But there's going to be some glyph around here somewhere. We know that for sure. It told us. But then the question becomes where? Because I, I never like to look up any of these things, although I'm sure it'd be super easy to find the answer. Alright, we see feathers. I don't know if we... Can we just climb this? He won't even climb that. So maybe, maybe not. How are we supposed to get up there? 
I have no idea. Maybe climb this one first. Yeah, I think he make it a, a more reasonable jump. Nice. I remember having to climb a lot of these in Brotherhood, like the pillars. I think Brotherhood is a very pillar heavy game. Now I'm I'm almost betting that it's gotta be come on, dude. I'm almost betting that it has to be up on top of the arch instead. So we'll give that a shot. And uh, it's going to be a little bit difficult to scale these things, especially when Ezio refuses to look at it. Can we see the glyph? I think I see it in the distance. It's actually not, it's not on the arch. Okay, that's going to save us a lot of time. I've noticed it. There it is. This is a weird looking glyph. Haven't seen anything that looks quite like this. It looks like a butterfly from a distance. And it, it is close to one. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. These have been a fun challenge. Something abandoned long ago. Apollo, unlock the file. So there's a moon. Moon landing was fake. That's what this is about. Find the eagle. Oop. That's some text. That doesn't do anything. Is it out here? It's out here. There it is. That's apparently the eagle. But I think that's what they called, uh the initial space I don't, I don't know whether they're called it it's not a space station but the initial uh like moon landing whatever you guys know what i'm saying um and then that's a famous line the eagle has landed is this accurate that looks close that looks close i forgot they love to move one at a time How are we going to figure this out? Maybe it's not that one. Maybe it's this one. Yes. And then the outside one by itself. Not there yet. I think that's all good except for this one. Oh, but that changes stuff too. Very annoying. Because I want to change the second without changing the other one. But you have to uh, have to move them all at once in a lot of cases. Which, as you can imagine, is actually extremely frustrating. Because I know which one I want to move. It just doesn't let me. Let's see here. There we go. But not quite. Maybe the third has to go a certain direction. Let me try to figure it out. So I think this has to be all the way over here. That makes sense to me. Yeah, that makes sense. The next one, we can only move all three at once. We'll line it up. That's good. And now that one will get moving as well. That's good. And the outside one also controls the inside. Where's the where's the skinny one? It should be lined up like that. So how do we move this third ring without moving the inside too? Okay, I finally got them all lined up the way I think you have to. Or, or it's close at least. And I'm I'm working on finishing it off completely. I think I think that's all lined up. Now I just have to make sure they turn all at the same time to, to line up with the uh, inside. But it's so tough because some of the pieces, like you can't 
move this without getting this out of order. It's like two are connected, these three are connected. It was an interesting little challenge. Okay. Um, that actually scared the absolute shit out of me for a second. I wasn't ready for that to be the answer right there. I mean, I thought it would be, but then to ching in your head just kind of like goes crazy. Apollo 11 photograph released to the public. What are we scanning for here? There's the, the uh, Abstergo logo. Templar logos. We're close. There's the Apple of Eden. Deep underground. It was easy. All right, Pasco finally found that was a challenging one. That really was. It took me a couple minutes to figure out. But if we play this all in succession, it's a lot of like quick flashing images. But it seems like the Garden of Eden might be at like the Abstergo headquarters. It all looks very futuristic, very fancy. I don't really know. I'm kind of in a weird spot with that. But I think that's a good spot to end the episode for now. Uh, we've completed a lot of these different uh, locations. And the only one I have left is uh, Mercato Vecchio in Firenze. Maybe I'll finish the episode with that, actually. So it's a pretty big city. I had to figure out where the market is, but uh, that could prove to be a bit of an issue. Because it's not like these locations are labeled on the map as far as I can tell. So, I really don't know. But the market's going to be one of these spots. I think it might be... Could it be that? It was where I thought it was. Here we are. So let's go ahead and try to find this glyph. I'm not really sure where it's going to be. Ooh, is that a feather? Dude, don't tempt me like that with a feather. Are we going to have to climb this somehow? I don't think this is going to be the way. We're going to have to go from the top. And then hopefully I mean, we'll see a glyph or something along the way. Eagle Vision is going to come in clutch for sure. But at least we're allowed to be up here now. Now why are you doing that Ezio? I did not say jump and dive backwards. I said just climb up. Like I hear something though. The glyph is gonna be around here somewhere. Right now I'm only seeing the feather, unfortunately. We'll jump, should be able to make this. Yep. Where would the glyph be? It might just be on one of the walls. It could be as simple as that. We're up to 20 feathers though. I'm gonna look here. Is that something? I see something. It's gotta be, it's gotta be the glyph. It definitely is. Kind of in a tricky spot, I will say. On the side of the wall here. Ooh, it's what appears to be, I would say, Chinese uh, characters. You wanted to Maybe stop the cycle, simplified to Chinese. Tell the secret. Oh, shit. I gotta keep thinking through the headaches. The Inventor. All right, let's unlock the file. Nikola Tesla. The economic transmission of power without wires is of all surpassing importance to man. By its means, he will gain complete mastery of the air, the sea, and the desert. It will enable him to dispense with the necessity of mining, pumping, transporting, and burning fuel, and so do away with innumerable causes of sinful waste. It will make the living glorious, son his obedient tolling slave it will bring peace and harmony on earth so what are you doing here just like lighting all the light bulbs man this is this is a real challenge dude imagine this one after the one i had to do last time <laughs> not really too difficult there's tesla's voting cliff tower under construction 1902 so we see a quote um, you can see that if you want to read it. It's not what I'm looking for. I'm probably looking for this. He found it in Croatia. Okay. He found it in Croatia. What are we looking for? The Apple of Eden? Could it be around him? 
He found it in Croatia. Yep. They would find it in his lab. Why is he reading it like this? Bizarre. Oh, it's just like a naked man falling? Okay, gross. But that's a good space or place to stop this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.